Hello, my fellow sharks. Uh, Smith here, and I have completed my goal. I have managed to solo Black Mage. Uh, today is the 14th of September. I did it yesterday night. Uh, I completed it around 11:30 p.m. my time, so right before I went to bed. Uh, with that now done, I can upload uh, more the content I was uploading before. Uh, the struggle to get that black mage solo done. I did end up having to pop a black heart and I'll go into more details about my gear and showcase everything I use uh, during the run in a separate video. Might also do a post commentary video over the black mage clear to uh, not necessarily highlight but uh, go over my thought process while running the boss because as it stands currently in reboot you do need Oz rings to solo black mage. It's not feasible. Uh, without Roar 4, and even even with Roar 4, I, I'm I'm like 95% positive you need a weapon jump 4 for your uh, 2 minute burst, your off burst. Uh, it just does not look doable without it. The pace I was doing could have definitely been improved, and I had a black heart popped, but even without the black heart, I, it would have been a 59. It would have been a buzzer beater with the pacing I was at the pace I was going, because it was a, it was 53 minutes and 40 seconds, and black heart gives me 10% final damage alone. So like doing the math, it comes out to like a 59.5 minute, a 59 and 30 second plus run, just under 60 minute, uh, 60 minute run. So. It was doable without the black heart. I just did not have the confidence or the, nor did I feel I had the capability to do it. But I definitely didn't have the confidence to do it without the black heart. So I ended up popping my one and only black heart to get it done, but it's done. It's over with. It was just a practice mode run. There's no solo achievement. So there's no reason to go into solo unless I want the boss crystal. But I think I'm going to be helping friends and guildies liberate. So that is that is my where my Thunderbreaker is going off to next. Of uh, it feels unreal, I guess to say that was just this time last year. I think it was this time last year. Wait, eight months. I liberated in January. So no, no, in March, like almost two years ago, I think. Right? Yeah, almost two years ago. Or no, almost, I don't know how to do math. Either way, it's crazy to think that I was on my last life being the weakest member of the party to now being able to solo Black Mage on my own. Uh, the glow up for Thunderbreaker is unreal with the Destiny patch. Uh, we're still in the gutter, uh, burst distribution wise. We have no burst. And the burst that we do have, I guess I shouldn't say we have no burst, but the burst we do have is pitiful. Uh, if it makes Evan look like a burst clash, you know there's an issue. So. That's just my two cents on the topic. I will forever hate Thunderbreaker as much as I love it. Right now, in the background, I'm just leveling my Hayato. Uh, I was going to do the 250 crit damage meals. Uh, apparently, that 1% crit damage is about equal to uh, double priming a uh, piece of equipment, so going from 30 to 33% or uh, 33 to 36 on the relevant equips, equipment tier. So it's worth the same amount, but it's guaranteed as long as you do the levels, whereas Double Prime could never happen if you're unlucky enough. Possibly, unlikely if you spend enough money, but uh, definitely possible for it to never occur. So the Hayato is a side project to do when I'm bored. Uh, I recently got my Shadower and my Lara to 250, but again, that'll probably be covered in the gear video uh, for what I was using during the Black Mage run. Uh, Tobin hero haired hero buffs started literally the day I ran, or the day I cleared, I should say, but I did not use them. I didn't even have the quest accepted, I don't think, or if I did, like, I had none of the skill points assigned, so there was no external event buffs used. Uh, the only buffs I used were Wild Hunter, uh, Bishop, and then Blackheart. And also Domain, I can't just count Domain. Domain on entry is huge for Thunderbreaker, especially since, again, like I said, our burst is so pitiful that uh, having that 33% final damage on our initial burst is critical for getting a 
getting a three minute burst out um, or clearing in two three minute bursts two two roar bursts that's what i'm trying to say again i'll probably do a post commentary over the black mage skipping through most of the content but uh just highlighting or just talking about like what the thought process was and if you're an aspiring thunderbreaker trying to solo what some maybe some strategies you can use are because as is i think there's only four overseas thunderbreaker clears in uh or uh, like non kms clears so one was done in maple sea and he's he has a few under his belt moo i think he did a he did a pre-destiny one which was very impressive and he did a post-destiny one as well uh kisame from i think he's in Barra did one uh raiden waves account got piloted by bread who's a mercedes to a clear and those were the, uh kisame had the first gms uh, uh black mage clear if i had popped my black heart earlier i might have been able to snag the gms first but that is due to my own stubbornness and lack of confidence that i did not do so as is, I didn't want to go in with uh, any extra buffs, uh, or I didn't want to use Wild Hunter and uh, anything beyond Bishop and Domain I did not want to use, because those were not my own characters, whereas I own the Bishop and the Kana. Wow, I'm getting a lot of symptoms. I own the Bishop and the Kana used to buff me. They're on my secondary account. Whereas Wild Hunter was given, like, I had a massive Wild Hunter buff of, like, almost 12 minute long buff, but, like, it was not my account. So that uh, solo progression type thing is uh, definitely not a thing, uh, but I digress. Uh, I, I'm going to be stuttering a lot in this, and that tends to be how my shark speaks go. Again, it feels unreal. I didn't think Thunderbreaker would ever be in a position where we could feasibly do uh, Black Mage solos, especially in Reboot. Uh, but it's been done. I'm very... I was the first liberated Thunderbreaker in Reboot, and I am also the first Thunderbreaker to solo in Reboot. So I'm very proud of that achievement. It's not the first uh, Reboot solo overall. KMS actually managed to solo before me, but they do have the Ignition. They, he did it with Ignition, so this is the only uh, pre-Ignition Reboot solo as far as I'm aware. As far as I'm aware. Unless TMS has uh, a clear, but I haven't seen it because there's not many TMS Thunderbreakers. There's not many Thunderbreakers in general because the class is not good. Uh, I'm going to finish up these coupons and get out of the quick talking, but yeah, I will hopefully be back with two to three videos. The raw, uncut, black mage clear, my gear post uh, clear, and... Uh, potentially a commentary, a post-commentary video on the Black Mage Clear and my thought process, if people want to see that. Uh, other than that, thank you for listening me to me ramble, but I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, friends.